Hello everyone, welcome to the later portion of the day, where I will be playing probably some more World of Warships, but actually, right now, I'm going to play a game I have not played on my channel yet, World of War Tanks. Now let's get into World of War Tanks and load it up. We're waiting. I know I haven't played World of War Tanks on this computer yet. Yes, I know. Actually, I technically have, um, just at a different time. And I got my water. Gotta stay hydrated while recording. Remember, when recording a video, it's always good to have a water. Because you never know when you're going to need the water. Just make sure to keep your water away from your electronics, like your keyboard, your mouse, whatever tech. Just make sure it's away from everything electronic. Oh, yeah. never set it up to remember me remember synthesizing equipment <sighs> I have played world of war, war tanks before you guys don't worry I somewhat know what I'm doing and it's a really good game. It's fun. It's relaxing. It's a really good way to take out your stress. Here's your license agreement. Okay, I'm going to have to start from the beginning. But that's okay. We'll go through the tutorial together. So basically, you guys get to see what the tutorial looks like. And watch me through this big struggle. No, wait. I have all my tanks still here. Way to go. Congratulations, way to go. The command express their gratitude and congrat congratulate you for achieving five victories. Affirmative. See, this is my current tank. There are many different tanks to choose from. Some people prefer the German tanks, but I have an American symbol on the side of one of my German tanks because I am American and then there's the Russian tanks the British tanks this is supposed to be British and then we have the French but today I think we should go out in a uh, panzer we'll try out a panzer if I die in the panzer then we'll switch into a different one all right all right let's go players in coordinate heavy tanks 92 medium tanks 69 light tanks 61 tank destroyers uh, you You'll understand what they are if you understand tank logic. I might switch in the middle of the game to World of Warplanes, but that's that's not a promise. That's just if I get bored, which is very rare to get bored of this game. It's really rare to get bored of any of these games. So as you can see, I'm near the bottom of the lead board. I'm in the middle. Therefore, I am slow. I am weak. I'm right here. When the game start, as you can see, there's many different tanks around me from different types of people and I'm 
gonna go with the T7 car because I trust those tanks. They're really cool. I have a bit more health than him, which is good. But I will turn off and turn away. Let's turn and go up this hill. I'm gonna sneak up behind them. I know there's a lot more tanks I should be worrying about, but I'm gonna sneak up behind and surprise them with this 110 health. I'm hit. I'm hit. I'm down. So you can see the fire. And I can look at all my teammates, but I can always go back to me. As you can see, it's really cool kind of a game. You can see all around you. You can zoom in and go into special mode. This is like a bad tank to have because this tank you have to move around. The one that I'm on right now, which is a teammate, which is the T1 HMC. You have to turn the full tank in order to fire. That's the one flaw of that. You have to turn the whole tank. You can't just fire with it. You have to turn the whole tank to take the shot. So we're going to escape and go back to the garage and see if we can get into another match. I'm probably going to die a lot because I have not played World of Tanks in forever. And I mean forever. Let's go to garage, campaign, missions. Personal ranking, Hall of Fame, go to ratings, service record, vehicles, go to ratings, service record, Hall of Fame, go to ratings, store, I'm not going to get any of this because I don't want it. I'm just trying to get rid of like all this. What is this? Um, mission, destroy, sheriff supply, completed zero. What do I do for this? Oh, I'm in battle. As you can see, when you hold your thing over it, it tells how much firepower each tank has. It's just telling you how much of firepower you have. No, I don't want to go to premium shop. No! Let's go to battle. Really heavy tanks are a pain in the butt because um, if your tank can't penetrate their armor, it's their tank is going to light up red, showing that your tank's cannons can't penetrate the armor. But um, if your tank can penetrate their armor, it's going to just show, show the normal tank. But um, if there's red splotches on their tank, it means their armor is too thick, you can't penetrate their armor or do anything to them 
but if there is no red, you can just fire away. Okay, we had a defeat with the Panzer. Paying attention. Buildings and destroyed vehicles can block enemy fire trees. Bushes may. As you can see, there are a lot of people on. We have two heavy tanks on each team. So, I gotta watch out for those heavy tanks. Those are gonna be my big concern. The big heavy guns. And as you can see, I'm near the top of the list now. But that's because I have the different a different type of tank. Look how much health I have, the amount of health, and the amount of armor determines how high on the Richter scale I am. Now, if you see, I can just roll over these cars like they're nothing. That's because I'm heavy. And whenever I need to fire, I want to make sure that when I'm firing, oh shoot. See, red. Backing up. And I'm down. See, this is a why um, you gotta watch out. If it lights up red, it's a high powerful gun. And you can see like where their health is and how much damage you're dealing. This is one of our heavy tanks. It's that this tank is basically like a battleship in World of Warships. Eh. It's hard to kill, but it's really good if you know how to use it. If you know how to use the tank you're using, it's really good. It, it makes it easy. Um, but um, that's enough of me talking because I'm pretty sure I'm annoying you. But we're going to go back to the Panzer, do a little bit of research. I have that gun. I got everything. Can I? No, I cannot. I do not have enough. I have 800 and I need 1,020, 250. So I gotta keep battling with this Panzer until I can unlock the next Panzer. Here's the thing. It's just like World of Warships. It takes a lot of patience, a lot of hours to unlock new things. And when you're starting off, it starts off fast and fast and fast because it's trying to push you to get more and more vehicles. But the further down the line of the vehicles you go through, ooh, like the higher the level of the tank, the more XP points it's gonna take, which are the stars. The stars are your XP points and the longer it takes you to get there so um it really determines um how long it takes as you can see again we have a big rowdy bunch uh, Ignore everything. You saw nothing. I'm going with the M2 medium because M2 medium is really big. As you can see, I can lock on to people. If the circle's down low enough, I can lock on. Don't pay attention to the little tabs appearing at the bottom.
Don't back up. Go forward. You little son of a bitch. You're risking it. Oh no, oh no. Um, how do I do this? Four? Get out of here. Back up. You douche! You trapped me. I'm going in. Damn it! Damn it, you T60. T2. Six. There's a T29 there too. That's bad. The 200 health one wasn't helping. It kept blocking me. Therefore, I died. Now we only have three people left because morons like these exist. Like they have such high level tanks, yet they don't u know how to use them and they don't help you. They'll just like leave you on the side and be like, uh. They got this. Let's block their path. He is gonna die and he deserves it. And we lost. As one of these guys was so stupid. Now I remember why I hated this game. <coughs> it's because of the people like that. People in World of Warships are smarter in that than the people who play in World of War Tanks because no offense to people who play the games. If you've played World of War Tanks you know what I'm talking about in World of Warships. People on World of Warships don't just like sit around and do nothing because they know if they just sit there they're a sitting duck because it's all around them. You have torpedoes flying at you, cannons shooting at you. You gotta stay on the move. But in World of War Tanks, oh, uh, some tanks are good for camping. Some tanks can snipe from a very far distance and some tanks have to be up close and personal. And then there's those people who just don't do anything. And it really makes me mad because it lowers the experience for new players. It makes people not want to play the game. If you can understand the struggle it takes to deal with these types of annoying people because it's just annoying and it pisses me off because I want to enjoy the game and the battle, but I can't enjoy it if they're getting in my way and blocking me. It just irritates me. To the point where I want to punch my screen, but I can't punch the screen because it's not my property. It's not my screen to punch. It's my mom's computer I'm using to record. Therefore, I don't do it. That's why usually, whenever I finish playing World of War Tanks, I... That's why I took up airsofting, was to get rid of all the rage. Because airsofting is like a... It, it's somewhat of a stress reliever, because you can take it out on other people. And just shoot them and win. So someone's right... I know he's right there, but I'm going around and flanking if I can go around.
I cannot. I have to go this way. Those are the things I hate the most because they can just rapid fire you. And it's kind of annoying, but uh, it, it's part of the game. It's a mechanic of the game. There are some things that can do that and some things that can't. Like the M2 medium light. It's one of those types of tanks that you can equip it to. Some are fast, as you can see from that guy. And that guy just sits in the bush because he knows he's not a good tank to take a tank to tank battle. See like how he just died right now? He knows he was gonna die. I just don't like how like some people don't contribute to the team on World of War tanks. It annoys me, it bugs me. It, it kind of defeats the purpose. You're online to work with other people hone in on your skills as a player but um it doesn't work out sometimes because you get those players that um just don't want to contribute to the game and they're just like oh it's not like it matters if i help or not it does matter the the more support you give a team on world of tanks the easier it is to win a battle but if you're not working together as a team on this game then you're you're just gonna lose miserably because you gotta work as a team of course but um it's kind of confusing i'm i'm talking too much let's just get back to the because i'm going on a rant but if you guys understand where i'm coming at obviously um if you played these games before it's really frustrating because you try to contribute to the team by doing your best, but you die anyway because you know you're not that strong of a tank. You know you can't handle that many hits. Therefore, you die. But the ones who can take the hits and take everything, they just sit there and do nothing. It, it just irritates the hell out of me. I'm gonna go around through that way. Or I'll just follow these guys.
We took out a tank, though. We did take out a tank. Okay, this is one of the tanks that can snipe. And I know this as a fact, but... Because I've played this game for a long period of time. This tank is slow. This one's a sniper. Well, it's not really a sniper tank. It's more like a big gun. It It's better at further away than it is at close range. The speed T2 is being really ballsy because against the Panzer II, he's nothing but he's fast, agile, quick. But his range sucks. He has to be really close to get that hit. This is what I meant by like some team members help. Some team members hide behind brush, but hiding behind brush is really helpful. VAE type B. That is a very powerful tank. See, this guy is an artillery. If you look close enough, he's just an artillery guy. He's more of the back. Same with this guy, he's just artillery. Oh, he went sideways. <laughs> I don't know how he did that, but he's on his side. Um, but I hope he doesn't die. But now we're back to me. Who are we on? Oh, damn. These guys are doing pretty good. This is what I meant by you have to work together as a team. Like you can have one person go first and then the other person follow behind. It, it kind of helps when you work together. But um, when people don't work together and work as a team in this game, it, it becomes chaos and your whole team just dies. But we have two good teams up against each other and both sides seem to be fighting to get there so that su18 is like the ones we have and artillery it's not meant to go tank to tank like this tank is a higher caliber than that so therefore at a close range it does nothing it can't handle the heat we're just gonna follow this guy through the rest of the match who is he shooting at? Oh! They only have two tanks left and we might just win this match if we just follow this guy around. Because we already know I've been destroyed. I'm down. I'm out. But we did knock out one tank. Oh, there's a Panzer! One more hit. And there he goes. Oh. I know what tank that is. That's a very powerful tank. And there it is. 18. And it's dead. We won. You guys may be already wondering why am I playing so many war games and uh, why not? They're fun. Now I can research. Research. I can buy it. Purchase. Okay. Affirmative. See, that if I upgrade to this, I take more fires, but I don't want to do that. 
See, this one's a lot bulkier, bigger, but its shooting is lower. But I'm gonna end this video here, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video of World of Tanks. It was really interesting to play the game. Aim. And if you guys liked this video, please leave a like, please leave a comment. Please ignore all the pop-ups, they were just there. And please leave a like, leave a comment down below. If you like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment down below. And please remember to support me on my Patreon. Every little bit helps. If you guys want to see better comment content, please help support me on my Patreon. I might leave a link down in the description below. And I hope to and my Patreon is Dawson Washer Patreon. Go look it up. Support me. Every little bit helps. Some artwork you can't see on my Patreon because I've blocked it for certain patroneers. If you want to see really cool artwork, support me. Love you. And remember to punch that like button in the face like a badass. And I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye-bye.